hi guys in this video i will show you how to install laravel 12 starter kit and profile picture upload option in registration form so let's get started with an example and let's see so let me go here and first of all i will create a laravel 12 application so what i will do laravel new okay and it will ask me for the about the project so i will say auth kit okay and then i will choose with starter kit i will choose live wire then i will choose default authentication choose a paste testing framework and let's wait a moment to install all the composer dependencies and project setups so let's wait a moment okay it will also ask for the npm install i will say yes because uh, i also want to install the npm and npm run build okay then i will go auth kit okay and then let me clear it okay and now let me go to my php storm and open that very uh, okay open that uh, project okay so let's wait a moment yeah this is open okay and let's wait a moment to reload okay go to the env okay and then i'm going to use mysql database so i will keep say mysql and then i will remove this comment okay so because i need to keep port and database and username that configuration i need to add i will say password will be root username root and laravel 12 underscore auth okay and save it and now let me go and run refresh like run the migration see the migration and let me go to the table plus and refresh and you can see that there is a users table okay there is a like catch and all the default tables are created now let me run the application so we'll say php artisan sir okay now let me go here and go to the local host and click on register you can see that okay now simple we have a register form name email and password okay so what i need to do i need to add one more option choose photo where user will choose the profile picture and we will also display in the dashboard so let me go here in my code editor go to the resource go to the views live wire auth and there is a registration blade so let me go here and copy this input okay we are like because live wire laravel 12 live wire added the flux support so what i will do here i will say photo and e id will be photo and here i will say choose photo then type will be file because that way user will choose photo so photo and i will keep required and remove this one okay now what i will do the next go to the go here and i will define one public okay variable and that's called photo save it and here i am going to say photo is required okay and then photo should be image as well so i don't have to write validation for png and jpg and all save it okay and now let me go here and refresh and i will choose the photo yeah i got the error because uh, i need to use the straight if you are using the file upload option so let me go here and use laravel thread that's uh, call with file uploads and we need to use it because otherwise you cannot uh, use the file upload option so just save it okay and now let me go here and refresh and if i go here and choose the photo yeah now it's fine okay so i also want to display the preview so let me go here and what i will do over here i will add one condition if there is a photo okay and if okay and then i will use yeah, photo with the rounded okay and then if there is a photo choose then i will get temporary photo url from the live wire okay save it okay and refresh it now let me choose the photo okay 
yeah now you can see that you can also see the preview but i want to make it in the single line okay so let me go here and i will use the tilewind css class so what i will do let's say call to i already created a snippet for that so copy cut this and yeah paste it over here and same thing this condition i want to put it over here stay save it and remove this one save it okay now if i go to the refresh okay and if i choose the photo go and you can see that preview in the same line okay you can make it better design as well okay so now what i will do first thing i will go to the users table and i will add one more column that's called photo so that way we can store the url over there so let me go here and existing migration so let me go use this migration and here i'm going to say photo save it okay and then let me refresh the migration so i will say php artisan migrate refresh so that means it's rerun the migration and let me go to the table plus refresh and you can see that inside the users table there is a photo column added over here okay and same thing let me go to the model go to the users model and here i'm going to add a photo as well save it okay yeah that's let me close it this okay and now let me go here and i will write the code for the photo upload so what i will do i will use this photo and then i will use store method okay and first argument i need to pass the folder name so i will say photos copy this and i will create photos folder inside my public directory okay so let me go here and i will say new directory and photos okay and then i will you choose public directory okay public directory okay it's so like for uh, public disk sorry not directory and this is the disk let me go to the configuration and go to the file system by default this public disk upload all the photos inside storage folder so let me go here storage app public over here but i don't want there so what i will do i will say public underscore path and i will remove the rest okay so that means it will take public disk but it will upload photo inside the photos folder in my public directory okay so save it okay and then i will copy this paste it over here and then i will give photo name so it will be override the photo key okay so save it okay and now let me go here and refresh let me run again the application so it's php artisan serve okay yeah and now let me register one user hardik at the rate gmail.com and then i will choose the image okay yeah with the preview and let me add the password and click on register okay and you can see that now register successfully and let me go here in photos you can see that now photo is coming over here my profile picture and let me go to the database so let me go and refresh you can see that i already have photo url stored into the database as well okay so that's working perfectly fine now into the dashboard i also want to display here you can see that it's just showing hr but i want to display the profile picture that what i have and here as well okay so what i will do go to the flux plus uh, website and go to the documentation and go to the header okay and we are using the header with the sidebar so i will choose sidebar and if i go here you can see that profile image so let me go and code you can see that they have set it with the avatar okay so let me go in our code okay and let me close this close this close this and go to the resource views and then i will say component and layout and then i will say sidebar okay and here i am going to say yeah you can see that there is a profile so this is the initialize using the by default so what i will do i will use avatar okay what they given over here avatar and then i will take photo field okay save it okay and now let me go here 
and refresh yeah there is nothing why because there is a photos and i think it should be a path i think yeah not this way yeah you need to give like this way save it okay refresh it now you can see that because that was the variable so that's the reason and you can see that there is a profile picture over here properly okay and here as well they give on the hr so what i need to do same thing i need to copy this okay and here i am going to say okay and here i will be display save it okay this photo refresh it and now click on it you can see that both way over here our custom profile picture that uh, we uploaded uh, register time so that coming over here properly okay so i hope guys you understand how easily step by step you can add profile picture for the user to upload if you like this video then share with your friends and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys